so hey ladies it's me Gina again here I'm like I feel like I'm on a roll my hair is crazy um but I thought I would do my lips from my last video the curl and lengthen um, flawless definition <laughs> I just did this uh, video yesterday but I really liked my lips and it was one of those accidental discoveries because um, I guess I could just get into it right now. Okay, so I went to Walgreens oh, the other day and I got um, a CoverGirl lipstick because I was watching um, a commercial and they were talking about, um, you know, it's a Drew Barrymore com commercial where she's walking around and she's talking about the more you wear it, the smoother your lips get. And I'm all about smooth lips. I mean, I lip balm myself. I buxom myself. Lip Rever Upper, that's from Bare Essentials as well. Like, it's crazy. So I thought, hey, might as well try another alternative that has some color to it. And so I bought it. Okay, so when I bought this lipstick, I was, um, I don't know, not upset with it, but it literally is kind of chalky to me. I don't know. I'm really picky about um, how it feels on my lips, so I, I wasn't that excited about it. But I did discover something um, that's a bonus. So there was a good and there is a bad. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to show you... Um, how I got my lips yesterday. Like I said, it was accidental, but I think this is my go-to lips for a while. So, here we go. Um, this is a lipstick. As you can see, it's pink. <laughs> I always do pink lips. Um, I do nude or pink. That or red. Well, yeah. So, different sometimes. This is called Enchantress. I don't know if you can see it. My camera phone is whack. But yeah, it's called Enchantress. 365. Um, I'm like sweating so I'm sitting right in front of my whew, window and it is hot outside. So let me put it on real quick. So I'm going to look in the mirror and I'm going to put it on. Okay, so after you've applied it on your lips, you can see, one, it doesn't come out the color that's on the packaging. It's literally fuchsia on my lips and a beautiful Barbie pink in the packaging. Do you see? Is it just me? I don't know. But yeah, so I opened it up, put it on, not happy with the color, not happy with the feel. Like I said, it's chalky. So I was in the midst, after I put it on, I remember I, w I was in the midst of taking it off. So let me do that. Let me take it off. And look at that. I was like, what the heck? Um, yeah, not only did it leave like this little glittery business on my lips, like I was like, it's a stain? I hate stains! No, I wasn't that dramatic. <laughs> there was other people with me. So I was like, hmm. Let me, I guess, try it with a gloss because I had to walk around with this all day, pretty much, because I'm talking about it was not going anywhere. I mean, so I got out my Debbie Buxom, which is beautiful. It's like a peachy pink because that's all I had in my purse. And let me put it on real quick. My lips in my last video that I had um, so you could see how I did that um, I, like I said it was an accidental surprise love surprises though I'm not gonna lie um, hopefully you guys um, try it buy it love it love it and um, yeah if you guys have any um, I don't know if you guys have the CoverGirl lipstick and you just didn't like the color like I did try it as a stain um, with a gloss and like I said, Debbie Buxom, or even Katie. I always do Katie, but I thought I would do Debbie because I, I don't know. It was in my purse, and I like it a lot. So this is my go-to when I just do, like, a really neutral eye. Um, but, yeah, 
So that was on my lips the other video, and I guess I will see you guys in the next one. Um, like I said, um, hope you guys have a blessed week, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.